Hi, I'm Barry John, and ooh, secret exit. Uh, I have a couple. We didn't get to see the last mine actually blow up. I'm disappointed. No, it cuts true. those out for some reason. Mm, true. But yes, I'm Barry John, and I have a couple of co pilots, and I'll let them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Laylight. I'm here again. I'm Lockspawn. I'm the beeping noise on the lock warning. <laughs> Wait. That was a blue, uh, that's a pink thing heading our way. Who's shooting that? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the secret levels. The first of three in this game. Uh, they do not mess around. Like I've said before, this game enjoys not messing around. This takes it up to 14. We are seeing enemy. Yeah, it would be very easy to miss that secret exit and just go on to level 12 and 11. Uh, just proceed with a normal difficulty curve. But this one, this one's for experts. Yep. This level is basically uh, a preview of things to come. Yep. So we've seen the Fusion Hulk to the face. These purple guys fire the fusion beams at you. They are big, they are huge, and trust me, the fact that I have 179 energy and 142 shields means nothing. So, uh, we've seen the fusion beams. They fire fusion guns at you. This level is littered with them. Uh, we've also seen some of our uh, military drones that fire off four or five lasers at a time. And yes. Yeah, you'll see them in later briefings, but uh, they're generally more aggressive. Uh, I think they have slightly more health, but they definitely shoot a lot more than their counterparts. Oh, yeah. Just letting you know that... Uh, visually that the uh, difficulty's been dialed up. Yep. And this is the sort of game where when you know enemies are ahead of you, you just fire dumb or you're blind firing homing missiles around corners. Yeah, that's why yeah. we're firing from yeah, round corners. That was three concussion missiles right there. Yep. Yeah. Never fight fair in this game. Fair? What is fair? All's fair in love and war, and we're at war right now. Very, very true. Alright, let's see here. Shields, homing missiles, because I've gone... Like, here's the thing. Yes, this level is difficult, but it also provides you with all the tools you need to uh, try and get through it. There's homing missiles everywhere. And... Oh, one second here. I just need to make sure I'm lined up properly. Yeah, so tying back into things, I guess the um, the flavor here is supposed to suggest that all the mines we were going through earlier were owned by uh, PTMC, Post Mining, uh, Post Terran Mining Corporation, but this is supposed to be a military joint, yep. thus explaining why there are so many different robots around. Yep. But that still raises a different mystery of why are all these Super Hulks around when the Super Hulk was at the end of uh, level seven? Oh no, th that's the that's the Super Hulk. These are the Plasma Hulks. Or something like that. Uh, the the fusion hulks, whatever you yeah, want to call them. Yeah, but they weren't. Pink guys. They weren't in level seven. Ah, get out of the way. But they're the same design. They just have a different weapon. True, and they're smaller. And they can't cloak and teleport. True. Maybe that guy was but, a one-off. Uh, this is the mass production yeah. model. Yeah. But uh, here is a little secret room here that gives us a quaint little view of the uh, reactor room. And a spare health power-up. And mega missiles. And I'm just going to be sniping through the grates here because I have zero interest in fighting fusion beam guys in that yeah. room later on. I mean, the fact that they're even letting you do this is a blessing. But look how that, yeah, one of those pink fusion blasts actually made it through the grate. They're big, but they're not that big. Yep. Those blasts are not quite a one-hit kill, but being hit by both of them on less than about, well, the full 200 shields is a one-hit kill. No, no, no. These guys each deal the th each shot deals 30 points of damage because they don't charge them up. In multiplayer, you can charge it up to deal out that much damage, but in single player, no. They just snapshot them. That's a small yeah, relief. Yeah, as soon as they realize they're being shot at, uh, they will shoot back, and you're taking your life into your own hands if you want to keep shooting from that spot. Yep. That's how they balance it out. Mm -hmm. Now, this particular... If, when you guys are playing this at home, do not make a right-hand turn there. Do When you're coming out of that area, do not make a right-hand turn. 
Uh, you have to take... That's, uh, that spawner's gonna be a problem later, isn't no, it? No, because the spawner that I ad deliberately avoided, that one makes concussion missile enemies. You do not want to charge into them. Now, you can barely see it in the distance, but there's another fusion hulk in... Oh, wait, no. There is a fusion hulk in the corner oh. there, as well as a, uh, driller. Oh, those were wasted. But that driller in particular uh, is actually invisible. There's cloaked drillers in this level. As if oh. life couldn't get any worse. Of course. What's next? Invincible drillers? Don't no, give them ideas. Thankfully. Now, part of me is worried because usually I've drawn out a couple of enemies from this little area down here before now, but it appears they haven't come yet, so... Yeah, whatever. I'll find them. But yeah, you, you mentioned earlier about how more aggressive these guys are, and you can see it right here. Like, they were ducking and weaving, and they just did not let up. Yeah, I think um, not only do they tend to fire more lasers per volley, but I think the amount of time in between their volleys is also lessened. They're nasty. Mm -hmm. uh, down that cor secret corridor is just access to the fusion gun back there, which I don't need just yet. Yeah, so it's not quite the same thing as though you were playing level 1 on insane difficulty, but it sure feels like it yeah. sometimes. I don't go through this door. There's just a bunch of plasma hulks back there in a plasma gun, and honestly, you're seeing the limit of it right there. I don't go in there anymore. It's not worth the fight. I guess it's nice if somehow you died in the prior level and lost your plasma cannon somehow, but still, if you're going to the secret level, you better come armed for bear anyway. Yeah. And it's not like you can't gain access to the fusion gun, which I've just turned around and ignored for the most part. Uh, back up. And yes, this guy just dropped three laser power-ups. Of course. That's for the game keeping you well-equipped, because it expects you to be dying and restarting a few times. Yep. And that it, the only way you'd know that cloaked driller was there would be if you've played this level obsessively for hours... Not quite hours... <laughs> on end, you know, figuring out where all the enemies are before you start a recording run. Oh. I, I wonder who would do that. I don't know, but uh, that's a cloaking device active and another one ready, and... Hmm. Yeah, the only nice thing I can say about cloaked drillers is that they usually drop cloaks for you to use. Yeah, that's the truth, all cloaked enemies. They're also surprisingly easy to spot if they're against a coloured background because their ears are white. So you can usually spot them when they start shooting. Yeah. Now this is me just... For a minute there I thought those were cloaked hostages, but no, it's just dark in there. Yeah. And this is me just, you know, going, well, I have a cloaking device, I have invincibility, I need to charge into a big, huge, empty room shortly that's going to be filled with enemies that do not like me, and I don't like them. So let's just be prepared as much as we can for it. Because, hey, you guys can't see me, you can't see me. Wait for it. Lasers, and... Oh, no can... Smart missile, smart missiles. Mm. Now, inside that room is two concussion uh, throwers and a couple of those, like, aggressive military laser throwers, so... Ow! Oh. One of them got in the hallway. That's rough. Yeah. Look how much uh, shields I lost there. Now, you may have noticed a little bit of a flash there to my left. That was me getting out of the targeting uh, zone of the uh, driller. I dodged a hit scan weapon. So it only has a limited number of angles it can face and you were in between one of them? Well, no. What happens is that uh, the driller has a limited ability to reorient. Like, it still has to turn to bring its weapon to bear. And I was inside the cone where the enemy will fire just long enough for the AI to go, I'm going to fire now but not long enough to actually be there when the shots arrived. Ah. 
And here is the reactor room. Thankfully, I have blew up the two fusion hulks that were waiting right outside the door there beforehand. And, you know, seriously, sometimes I think that some of these uh, reactors are... They don't take a, as much damage. I think they have variable hit points. Yeah. But this is me just uh, leaving because I have... Oh, wait, no, back up. Go this way. Oh, I like how those monitors are actually displaying the warning message. That was nice. Yep. It's a nice nod uh, to the Star that... Trek films, actually. Mm-hmm. But that was the exit to an asteroid secret base. And I'll see you guys all next time.